G. John made history by becoming the first person executed using lethal gas. G. John was born of Cantonese descent in the Qing dynasty in 1895. He immigrated to the United States between 1907 and 1908 and spent most of his life at San Francisco's Chinatown in California. G became a member of the Hip Sing Tong Society, which dealt in narcotics and liquor. In 1922, territorial disputes with the rival Bing Kong Tong Society led to the outbreak of hostilities. A member of the Hip Sing Tong Criminal Society from San Francisco, California, the Hip Sing Association or HSA, formerly known as the Hip Sing Tong is a Chinese-American criminal organization gang. Formed as a labor organization in New York City's Chinatown during the early 20th century. The Cantonese name Hip Sing translates roughly to cooperating for success. The Hip Sing Tong, along with their rivals the Four Brothers and the Yan Leng Tong, would be involved in violent Tong wars for control of Chinatown during the early 1900s. During the 1930s and 1940s, the Hip Sings were involved in drug trafficking operations with the Kuomintang and later the Office of Policy Coordination. They would later establish chapters in Chinese-American communities throughout the United States in major cities such as Chicago, Seattle and San Francisco. Recently some branches have begun to transform back into the legitimate fraternal organization they started as over a century prior. Like many Tongs, it was founded to protect its members from the rampant anti-Chinese prejudice that was common in America at a time. And provide them with a semi-legitimate community structure since they could not rely on police or court systems to resolve internal community disputes. Also like many other Tongs, it eventually became involved in vice in order to fund its operations. While it is arguably most famous for its war with the Onlang Tong in Manhattan's Chinatown, the group that would become the Hip Sing Tong did not actually originate within New York, but rather on the West Coast within San Francisco. It moved into New York City in the late 1800s, and soon began to compete with the Onlang Tong for local control under the guidance of its then leader Sai Wing Mok. This rivalry would eventually erupt into decades of violence, a part of a nationwide conflict between Tongs known as the Tong Wars. Tom Kwong Ki was murdered by G. John. Tom Kwong Ki was a 74-year-old laundry proprietor who was a member of the Bing Kong Tong in Mina, Nevada. Huey Singh, his American-educated apprentice of two years, pointed Ki out as a target for G. During the night of August 27, 1921, G knocked on the door of Ki's residence, while armed with a Colt 38 revolver. G fatally shot Ki, who answered the door in his pajamas. Unlike many other Tong killings, G and Singh were apprehended. G was sentenced to death for the murder of an elderly member from another gang in Nevada, and sentenced to death. G and Singh were defended by attorneys James M. Frame and Fiore Raffetto. G and Singh were both convicted and sentenced to death in the District Court of Mineral County, Nevada. Singh's sentence was commuted to life imprisonment because he was only 19 years old and G had committed the shooting itself. A bill authorizing the use of lethal gas had passed the Nevada State Legislature in 1921, making G eligible to become the first person to be executed by this method. Frame argued that G's sentence constituted cruel and unusual punishment, but his appeal was denied. 
The Supreme Court of Nevada instead complimented the state legislators for inflicting the death penalty in the most humane manner known to modern science. Raffetto unsuccessfully filed a writ of certiorari with the U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco. G. was incarcerated in Nevada State Prison at Carson City. The California Cyanide Company of Los Angeles, California, was the only distributor of liquid cyanide in the western United States, and refused to deliver it to Carson City over liability concerns. The poison was used to eradicate pests from citrus groves in California. Warden Denver Dickerson sent his assistant Tom Pickett to Los Angeles to personally pick up 20 pounds of lethal gas, which was contained in a mobile fumigating unit that cost $700. Four guards who did not want to participate in the process had resigned. During his execution, an unsuccessful attempt to pump poison gas directly into his cell at Nevada State Prison led to the development of the gas chamber. The officials first attempted to pump poison gas directly into G's cell while he was sleeping, but without success because the gas leaked from the cell. A makeshift gas chamber was set up at the butcher shop of the prison. At least one cat was used to test the lethal effectiveness of the chamber. G was strapped onto a chair in the chamber, which was 11 feet long. 10 feet wide, and 8 feet high. A small window next to the wooden chair allowed witnesses to look inside. Attendees included news reporters, public health officials, and representatives of the U.S. Army. G wept as he was placed on the chair until the captain of the guards told him to brace up. At 9.40 a.m. on February 8, 1924, the pump sprayed four pounds of hydrocyanic acid into the chamber. The weather was cold and humid. Because an electric heater failed, the chamber was 52 degrees Fahrenheit instead of the ideal 75 degrees, causing some of the acid to form a puddle on the floor. G appeared to lose consciousness in about five seconds with his head continuing to nod up and down for six minutes. He was completely motionless after ten minutes. Some of the witnesses momentarily thought they smelled the odor of almond blossoms, thought to be the odor of cyanide, leaking from the chamber. The warden had the witnesses cleared from the area. At about 10 a.m., a vent was opened and a fan was turned on to discharge the poison gas. The prison staff waited for the remaining puddle of hydrocyanic acid to evaporate before cleaning up the chamber. G's body was removed from the chamber at 12.20 p.m. and taken to the prison hospital. A group of seven doctors pronounced him dead but did not conduct an autopsy on the body out of concern that some remaining gas could be released. G was 29 years old when he died. Thank you for watching Death Row.